give us a sense. Do they think you just heard the report, the, an Iranian member of the Iranian delegation saying no deal today. Uh, the president agreed to let Secretary Kerry and the rest of the team stay for an extra day, trying to get a framework. We should be clear, no one expects a final deal today. They're trying to get a framework, a political document that says this is what will be in a final deal, and then spend a couple more months negotiating. What is the sense at the White House, yes or no? The, the White House is in a really tricky spot right now, both with the negotiations happening in Switzerland and then the political fallout back here in mm -hmm. Washington. Uh, con people continue to say that this is a 50-50 prospect at best. The big question right now is, you know, they are making small incremental progress on some of the toughest issues, but does another day, another two days, another week actually get you to the decisions that have eluded these negotiators for 18 months now? And the longer that this drags on, and, and what we are hearing is that if anything that would be finalized would be far short of the real framework that we had thought, even if this drags on and they can come up with a deal, can Obama sell this to Congress? Can he sell it to Arab allies? It's looking very difficult right can, now. Part, one of the questions is, can he even sell continuing to talk? And that they've had these deadlines right. over the last couple of years. These negotiations have been going on for a long time. And they've had these deadlines where you have to get so far to keep talking. And then you're supposed to get so far to keep talking. And the competing pressures are fascinating. In Jerusalem this morning, Prime Minister Netanyahu came out and again criticized this deal with him in Jerusalem, but not on the picture significantly. Uh, he did meet with the House Speaker John Boehner earlier today. Speaker Boehner did not come out when the... Prime Minister made a press statement about uh, the Iran deal there. Uh, the speaker being careful not to criticize the president, I think, while he's overseas. Uh, the president last night, as I noted, checked in by video conference with his team there. And Peter, listen to this. It's Ed Royce, a leading Republican voice on foreign policy in the Congress, uh, saying, look, uh, what the Congress needs to do here, if these talks collapse, and he doesn't think the president's going to get a good deal, so Ed Royce's advice is walk away. And he says, strengthen the sanctions and force Iran back to the table. Let's shut down their economy and leave it shut down until they agree to allow the inspectors in anywhere, anytime to see if they're cheating. And I, I think it goes back to that fundamental bottom line. You've got to be prepared to do that and cut off their hard currency and collapse the economic system. And that's a Republican voice, but a lot of Democrats also think the best approach here, if Iran doesn't say we're ready, is to just walk away and strengthen the sanctions. Yeah, to play hardball. And, right. and Republicans say either strengthen sanctions or just walk away or be prepared to walk away. Uh, obviously, they don't think that we should be talking to Iran in the first place and that right. President Obama, you know, violated uh, something by right. agreeing to do that in the first place. Um, but Republicans have said that Obama has, you know, crossed red lines before, like Syria is a good example that they say. And so that it just by he has too much invested in this that he's just going to keep going and going and going they're going to give away too much that this isn't just a practical hardball negotiation and that President Obama is being too soft that's the Republican line which you know is in keeping with their line on his foreign policy anyway but we'll watch to say if they can get a loose framework I don't think anyone thinks they're going to get what they sought at the beginning the idea was a pretty tight framework right now and then finish the talks. We'll see if they can get that or we'll see if the administration decides they do need to walk away. Sometimes walking away actually gets people back to the table. We'll yeah, see what either. happens. It does, but yeah. again, there's Obama has so much invested right. in just opening a relationship and a dialogue with Iran. So like it just it just seems it's tough for him to, to back away from that. Really yeah. walking right. away yeah, yeah, at right. this point.